barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to join the Patreon, man. Join the Patreon. I don't know if y'all motherfuckers can see. Oh, now we there we is. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Good morning. How you doing? All right, beautiful. And uh, live from the 213. <laughs> I just want to uh, chime in on the Devin Haney. Um, shit, I ain't losing to no black dude. I mean, no white dude. Well, neither am I, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. I'm not pulling back. I'm not counter-punching. I'm leading. I'm going to lead with my one-two. Ain't no white motherfucking media member better than me. None. Zero. Zilts. They work for somebody else. I don't I don't know a white media. There's not one mighty white media member out there that has his own publication. Everybody want to work for yes, man. Man, bet on yourself, man. Don't hold your punches back, Dev. Say, say, say it with your chest out. Poke my chest out, nigga. Weight on my shoulders, bring the best out, nigga. You either get it right or you get left out, nigga. I don't stress out, nigga. I don't give a fuck about what these motherfucking uh, a recessive gene, <laughs> recessive gene community. I don't care. Do you understand what I'm saying? Be proud. Stand up. Stand tall. And truth be matters, guess what? If y'all motherfuckers keep on talking, we ain't got to fight y'all motherfuckers, man. Man, this ain't the Floyd Mayweather era boxing where we motherfucking need to, where we want pesos and uh uk dollars uh, or uh euros we don't need euros and pesos you know what i mean black dollar strong you know what i mean and and i stand on that i stand on my square man i say what you mean who are they without us the only way they have validation is if they're in our circle of influence or they fight us look through the history books what sport can be successful without us? Existence. Civilizations can't be nothing without us. Whites are a recessive gene, man. Get it through your motherfucking head. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, I don't care, man. You know what I mean? I personally don't care. I'm glad he said it. I was actually listening live. And I was actually going to respond to it immediately, but I but it was like five, six, seven o'clock somewhere in there on, on the California time, and I had to and I had to go in daddy mode and uh, give baths and read bedtime stories and speak affirmations to my kids before they went to bed. So I uh, then I went live at nine o'clock, so there was no window of time for me to respond. But when he said it, I started shadow boxing. Shit, I'm standing on my square. I I mean what I say. I don't need you. Matter of fact, we don't need you. We don't. We don't. Now, if you want to give up your white privilege and stand with us for the duration of the fight, not for when it's convenient for you or you believe you can monetize off of us, then go right ahead. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck about Luke Campbell. I don't give a fuck about uh, uh, Lomachenko. Don't care. You know what I mean? Let Devin Haney fight Gary Russell. Y'all want to complain? Don't fight us. We don't need you. Luke Campbell, you're irrelevant. Lomachenko, you're irrelevant. I mean, like, who's looking forward to the next Lomachenko fight? Lomachenko? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We already know we up against the WBC don't want us to win. Who cares? Like, at the end of the day, and, and, and this is what I mean. When people show you who they are, believe them. We don't need them. We don't need them. We don't need them. Y'all want to come take a look? Listen, we don't need nobody. This is all black dollars, man. Let me show you what a million dollars look like. Let me show you what a million dollars look like. One dollar at a one dollar at a time. I ain't never got a million dollar check from a white man. As a matter of fact, I turned down checks for millions of dollars. Two deals. Two deals. That would have made my Instagram look like I was the most flyest nigga in the world. But guess what? I don't need you niggas. I don't man. Look, Devin, stand on your square, dog. Stand on your square. You know what I mean? Stand on your square. I'm investing millions of dollars in a motherfucking recession, dog. Look, look, I'm adding a, look, look, white people. Look, I'm adding a motherfucking unit downstairs. You know how much it costs to add a unit? Look, look, man, fuck y'all. Man, fuck y'all. And you know what I'm about to do now? I'm about to get in my car and go over to my next, my next, my next venture. Man, man fuck y'all. We don't need y'all, and I mean it, and I fucking mean it from the depths of me. You either give up your white privilege and fight with us for the duration of it takes to take, or you just buy a ticket and shut the fuck up. 
That's it. As a matter of fact, complain. You know what I mean? Complain so so our algorithms can can exceed but beyond expectations. Because you know what's going to drive us? You know what's going to drive us to make more money? Your hate. Your visceral hate for us. Your visceral hate for us. I love it, man. I'm going to be black in a drought and in abundance. In a desert or in an oasis. I'm going to be black. I'm going to stand tall. I'll tell you to your face. I don't need you. I don't want you. I'm not chasing nobody's. I'm not chasing nobody's validation. You either love me for me and that's it. I don't care no any other way. I don't care. Man, I was born and raised in Harlem, USA, man. You think I'm motherfucking worried about a peck of wood talking about... Man, <laughs> you think I care? <laughs> nigga, I was, then I was raised in South Central LA. Nigga, I had to go through the Seven Fall Hoover Crips, nigga. And then catch the bus through the A-Trays on Florence and Normandy. And then I had to go to the 60s neighborhood at Horace Mann, which is my school right there. Middle school, nigga, I'm living out my dream, nigga. Living out my dream. Don't you know when I went to that fucking middle school, I was on welfare? Don't you know? My mom was motherfucking on welfare, working under the table so she can motherfucking provide for her family. Man, get the fuck out of here. You think I care about a, about white journalism trying to paint Devin? Hold, stand on your square. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. I'm telling you right now, don't flinch. Stand tall, man. You got a black father, man. He'll, he'll take all the blunt of that shit. And matter of fact, we don't even need white media. Don't need them. It's a new era. We don't need... Dan Raphael just got fired. Keith Eidek is irrelevant. We don't need you. White old media needs us. Don't even... And I'm going to tell you, Devin, if you really want to make a stance, don't interview with them. Whoever wrote those articles and all that shit, don't ever interview with them ever Again, because obviously they listen and watching everything that you say and do. You know what I mean? Who the fuck listens to 78 um, at uh, 5 o'clock or 8 o'clock Eastern when they claim they got better things to do? I'm going to watch them. You know what I mean? I support him 1,000%, but I thought they don't watch us and care about us. That was a random, random time, and man, get the fuck out of here. It wasn't on Instagram where they got a notification. So guess what? They subscribe to all our channels. They subscribe, watching Keen. I don't care. Go If y'all care so much, go fuck with Eddie Hearn and his hair plugs. He's so insecure, he had to put motherfucking hair plugs in his head. They, they so insecure and jealous of us and envious. Man, I, I'm just going to say this. All my black men, black fighters out there, stand on your square, man. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. And then maybe when you get 42 like me, and hopefully you get it sooner, you can say, fuck you. You can say, I don't get, you can say, I, you, you can do it, man. You can do whatever you want. I don't need no check from nobody. Nobody. None. Zero. Zilt. Nada. I built this shit. I don't care if it's worth $500,000 or $50,000. Guess what? It's mine. I own this shit. And I own my words. Hey, right, what's up? Go ahead, Earl. <laughs> Fucking yelling at some people right now. Man, I'm yelling at some motherfuckers, man. Some peck of woods. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Guess what? I get, I get to work with my brothers. You see that? I get to work with my brothers, man, all day. You know what I mean? So, I don't stress out, nigga. I poke my chest out, nigga. Weight on my shoulders bring the best out, nigga. You get it right or you get left out, nigga. <laughs> man, live for the 213, man. That's what we are, man. Who do you love? Hey, oh, what my shirts? I'm rooting for everybody black. You know, I'm, I'm rooting for you, Devin. You know what I mean? You better have a great camp if you sign that contract with uh, Gary Russell. Why don't we just fight each other? Tank Davis. Um, uh, Tank Davis, uh, Gary Russell, Devin Haney. Why don't y'all just fight each other? Let, let uh, Leo Santa Cruz, since he ducked all of us at 126, why don't you let him fight Lomachenko? Let them guys fight. Let them fight. Go. That's what y'all don't understand. My voice is arguably the most influential voice in boxing as it relates to responding to events. But I got 45,000 subs. I'm a nobody, right? <laughs> I'll stress out, nigga.
I poke my chest out, nigga. Weight on my shoulders, bring the best out, nigga. You get it right or you get left out, nigga. <laughs> look, 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 look. <laughs> man, I'm, man, ain't nothing like it, man. Ain't nothing like knowing when your plan works. Devin, your plan is working, dog. Your plan is working. You're, you're building. You're raising your equity. You and your father did the right thing by uh, coming over to the black market. And guess what? The white people just want you to interview with them. That's all they want you to do. You know, I mean, you ain't got to chase nobody no more. And I'm telling you. And and I had to learn this when I got laid off as a teacher. You, you know, you chase those jobs and you chase those. Uh, you chase those. Uh, you know, I applied to the L.A. Times, Orange County Register. They didn't hire me. Then I got a little bit of buzz. Warner Brothers want to come holler at me. ESPN want to come holler at me. And I say, fuck them. You know what I mean? Pay me double. Pay me double. They didn't want to give me what I ultimately wanted. So I said, you know, I'm going to build my shit one brick at a time. Some days I was too tired to put a brick on the wall to lay a brick. Some days I was strong enough to lay three bricks. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I know that some people, this is going to come off as a synonym for arrogance. This, but I built this shit. I'm proud of me. I'm proud of the fact that at 18... I'm going to have two kids that are going to be millionaires making at least $10,000 a month in cash. Because you know what I'm doing for the 18th birthday? I'm paying off their building. I'm proud of that. And there's nothing nobody can do to stop that. I pay my taxes. I pay my taxes. That's the only white man I got to I, I gotta acknowledge is Uncle Sam. <laughs> That's it. Everybody else, I ain't got to acknowledge. I pay my taxes. Matter of fact, I pay so much. That I, I get tax credit for the next year. Just just in case. I don't make it home tonight. What up, Jaheem, man? Where you been, Jaheem? But anyways, man, I just uh, wanted to uh, add my two cents to this shit. You know what I mean? Let's live, man. Quarantine. Th this is this, this COVID-19 is a time where we can uh, be bountiful. Be optimistic. The ideas you have, the actions you want to take to raise your family levels, impress, make an imprint on your last name, raise the value of your last name. Do it now. Do it now. It's important. It's important. It's important. Okay. At the end of the day, if this little five foot seven dark skinned nigga with the confidence of motherfucking uh, David versus Goliath can do this shit, what what you can do? You know what I mean? Average looking, 170 pounds. Just got I just got the confidence of David. That's all. Ain't nothing special about me. I ain't got no true talents. I just know how to save $1,000 and turn that $1,000 into $2,000. Whether it takes a year, one day, one month, that's all. Ain't no, ain't no rocket scientist. You know what I mean? I eliminated my bad habits. Don't drink, don't smoke. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I, I force fed. I force fed my negative habits and positive habits, like being OCD about working out, being OCD about, man, I just saved a thousand dollars. I want to do it. To, you know, I just changed it. You know what I mean? We all, I'm a man. We always don't look at a beautiful ass. You always don't acknowledge a beautiful woman. That never changes in a man. I'm just keeping it a buck with y'all. That never changes. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know, these vices that's impeding you, these toxic relationships that's impeding you, get rid of them motherfuckers. You know what I mean? No one's perfect. We all got to go through the pain, okay? No one's perfect. No one's immune to it, whether you're famous, rich, or, or impoverished, and no one knows you. Everyone's going to go through the pain. Everybody's going to lose somebody. Everyone's going to get their heart broken. Everybody's going to be on their last dollar. Everyone's going to need to borrow $10 at some point. Every, trust me. All right, no one's immune to this shit at the end of the day. But for real, for real, Devin, stand on your square, nigga. Guess what? Whether you apologize to them or not, I don't know what you did. I don't know, I don't know how you responded to it. I don't know. I ain't been on Instagram or nothing yet today. They never gonna accept you. Because at the end of the day, I'm gonna tell you what my editor told me. Ken Miller told me. I swear to God to this day. He knew where I was going and what I wanted to do. He never got in my way. But he said at the end of the day, guess what you're gonna be to them? Whether you got 10 degrees, $10 million, or $10 in your pocket, you still gonna be a nigga. So stop apologizing to them and wanting their acceptance. Barbershop Conversations, we going live tonight. Live tonight, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Don't forget, and click the link in the Patreon, you know what I mean? So, so we can all get wealthy together, you know what I mean? And the $5 you pay a month for your Patreon, you get it back in your taxes. So it's free, 
okay, I'm just eliminating all the haters. I'm just eliminating all the people in the comment section. And it's just a small community of us, okay, where, where we can talk on a community page, give each other ideas, you know what I mean, and get wealthy together. Be a community. And I don't give a fuck. Luke Campbell, who are you? I mean, I mean, I don't even know who you are. I don't even know what you look like. I'll be honest. I don't even know what you look like. Don't know. You know what I mean? I'm about to listen. I'm about to, you know what? I'm about to end this video and go listen to Black Habits by D-Smoke. <laughs> Peace out.